al Jama. In Pakistan, lot of Sufi people and mainstream Islam, they are Ahlul Sunnah al Jama. Although there are other people who believe in different ways, but no problem if it is going to be like, a, a, like in sport. You go and play. Who lose? Who win? Is no problem. It's a, you are you are doing your best to 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 succeed, but don't come to become violent and radicals. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala sent four imams. We have four imams in Islam, and you have twelve imams in Shiism. Four Islam. Every Mazhab: Hanafi, Maliki, Hanbali, and Shafi'i. Everyone is different. Uh, is a different, complete different way of looking at Islam. But we didn't have the fight. You want to be Hanafi? Be Hanafi. Follow the way of Hanafi. I follow Shafi'i. I follow Shafi'i. The other one follow. Hanafi. Why you have to fight? Why we have to close the country and don't allow anyone other except my my faith or no one else? Everyone look in different way, uh, according to, to his capability and capacity. And that's why uh, one of the big scholars in Azhar said, when you are closing down the different school of thought and the, the way people think, you are uh, closing down on, on intelligence. Because intelligence today is evol uh, it's like an evolution. It goes higher and higher. So what was in 1400 years, they didn't have telephones, they didn't have uh, sciences, they didn't have energy. So today you have all these facilities. So you have to go along with the, with the time in the, in the realm of Islam and show the greatness of Islam instead of show, or showing the, 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 the rigidity that you have toward Muslims and, and Islam. And this is what we are falling into. And the criticism which um, we hear a lot of time these days about the madrasas that the uh, the Maulanas and the Maulvis and the religious scholars want to take Muslims back to where Islam started. Uh, many people would argue that Islam came as a forward-looking religion. It came to take people forward in time. Uh, but now these people, all they talk about, you know, Islam 1400 years ago, they talk about Medina city-state. Uh, it's, it's a lot of confusion in the Muslim mind, isn't it? That is the problem. That's our problem because these people are never being opened to technology, these Maulana sitting in remote areas, in, in places that they never saw anything, and if they saw anything, they don't want to change their position because they built that position for many years, many years to before, so they, don't, they cannot change the style, they cannot change anything because if they change, then they will accuse them that you have uh, uh, what you were teaching us was wrong, and this is similarly what happened with the Wahhabis. I was, I was recently in a, in a country and uh, I met with one of the high level people and he was telling me that when they visited the, 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 the people in Saudi Arabia, they told them, they told them, you, you, you brought that problem on you on us. How we solve it? They said it went too far from our hands. You cannot solve it. It's, they cannot come to tell the people that what we taught you before was wrong. Let us just uh, uh, fix it. The only way how to fix it, you can fix it, but how to fix it is to introduce other school of thought and let people be opened up let these madrasas open up if you are going to keep these madrasas isolated in these areas you are now never going to change anything what, what, what do you think of, of people like Osama bin Laden and Iman al-Zawahiri we hear them on Arab channels and then on American and British channels as well where they're talking about you know, taking on the West through the violent way? Uh, they, they, they are living in caves. So what you are expecting? They know that one day might be they are going. So what they are expecting? They are going to say whatever they want to say. Fight the West, fight America, fight this, fight that. Because this is the only weapon that they have to, to criticize and complain. And they, they did the mistake from the beginning. That they brought the, 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 the problem on the, all, all the Muslim Ummah. Uh, it, is, it is something that they didn't make a right decision that instead of fighting, let us sit and negotiate and debate. I don't think there would be have a problem at that time. But the way that they, they did what they did, it turned out to be on all the Muslim disaster. And that's what we are all as Muslims we are facing. Uh, Bin Laden is, uh, is a, a, a businessman. 
Ayman al-Zawahiri is a doctor. They are not very well based as many of the scholars they say in the Middle East or in Saudi Arabia or in Egypt. They are not based in Islamic studies very well. So they took a decision of their own and they studied the Quran on their own or the Hadith on their own. So you have to see who are their teachers. If you can find who are their teachers, then you can find what is their background is. So if their teachers are certain person, and check that certain person, what is his belief? You meet a lot of politicians, whether they are American or British or a Muslim politician. Do you think that when you meet these people, they have the capacity to solve the problems of, uh, of, of, of the world? They are important people. Wallahi, I am a person that I am trying my best uh, to be nothing. I am not after any politician. I'm not after to be known anywhere, but I'm seeing a danger on the Muslim Ummah. So when you meet, at least there is a debate, there is a dialogue. They accept or they don't accept. It's their decision. I, 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 I'm nothing. I cannot do anything. I, I'm, I'm a one person. I'm, I'm learning from my sheikh to be to, to learning and taking experience of his sincerity and humbleness and learning from Sheikh Nazim. So I'm trying to, when they, they ask to meet or when we, we, we meet with different people around the world, only to see what they have and what we have. And then it's up to them. And you can find that these are very successful dialogue and debate. At least they understand you. At least you, 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 gave, you give them something to, to, to understand that the Muslim Ummah is not what they are being informed. Because what they are being informed or what they are seeing from small minorities around the world through they have the, the, those who have these satellites and only focusing on the news where they can find all these uh, uh, co contradictions and controversialities and complaints and to criticize. This is what they are hearing. But when they hear from you a different perspective, they approach you. And that's why today they are approaching the Sufis. Everywhere they are approaching the Sufis. Every country now is speaking about the only one that can solve the problem now is to bring the Sufi literature back, which was the main, main literature. Imam, Imam, Imam Nawawi, Imam Al-Asqalani, all these big Imams, as uh, all these big Imams were Sufis. So if you bring that back and they see that there is a big opportunity to bring that back, and, uh, and uh, it will solve the problem. And Sheikh Hisham, lastly, what would be your message to young Muslims who will be watching uh, this, this program here in the UK? Because we hear a lot about groups like Hizbut Tahrir, Al Mahajirun, um, Al Ghuraba, etc., and other Muslim younger people who will be watching this program. What would, what would be your message to them? The youth are the future of Islam and Muslim. If the youth as follow what Prophet ﷺ said, نَحْنُ أُمَّةٌ وَسَطَ We are a moderate ummah, nation. We are a moderate nation. We take the middle ways. Let them take the middle ways, not to be so on the extremes, not extreme on the right or extreme on the left. Let them be on the, on the middle, and then they will save everyone. Because if the youth become our ambassadors in the future, by being the mind of the Muslims open to the West and to, the, to Europe and to the culture that they are living in here in, in, in these countries, then they will understand that they are making a big uh, 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 sacrifice to the, to the Muslim Ummah because they are giving the best picture of Muslims because Muslims cannot all of the Muslims come here. Only the, the, the Muslims that they are here which are the minorities, can give a big picture about Islam, which is in the in Middle East or in Far East or in subcontinent. It is their duty. And if they go along with these uh, uh, organizations or these movements, that they have a political agenda to make their own uh, governments and their own states on the shoulder of the youth who are living in the West, they are jeopardizing the life of this youth and jeopardizing the life of the Muslims living around in these countries. I was in an